Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert Wilkie is denying allegations he tried to dig up dirt on a Navy veteran who claimed she had been sexually assaulted. House Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman Congressman Mark Takano has asked the department's inspector general to investigate. Takano says he received information from a senior VA official that Wilkie has worked to undermine the credibility of his aide, Andrea Goldstein. Lisa Ryan has been following the story. She is a national reporter for The Washington Post. Lisa, thanks very much for being with us. What exactly are VA officials accusing Secretary Wilkie of doing? Well, uh, these are both former and current uh, officials at the agency, as well as people uh, close to those people, um, say that the secretary, um, after Andrea Goldstein, who is a Navy veteran um, and a current Navy intelligence reservist, um, who actually works on Chairman Takano's staff, after she filed um, a complaint uh, last September, she, uh, that at the VA Medical Center in Washington, that a man who later turned out to be a vendor. Uh, she was in the cafeteria. She was buying a smoothie. Um, she was there for an appointment. She said that this man groped her and propositioned her and really, really got in her space. So uh, she filed a complaint. The inspector general opened an investigation. And shortly after that, we are told by, um, you know, by, by our sources that, um, that Secretary Wilkie um, started to make calls, you know, to people he knew in the military to inquire about Andrea Goldstein's past, her service record, um, her performance in the military, and whether or not uh, she had, um, you know, made other accusations against, um, against men, you know, for sexual harassment or sexual assault. And Lisa, how does that version of events from Andrea Goldstein herself compare from the way uh, that Wilkie actually characterized these events? Well, so when we, um, uh, I spoke to Andrea late last week, uh, and she said, yes, uh, I uh, did uh, file a complaint um, of harassment against my uh, former commander of mine in the Navy, and this was actually fairly public. She had spoken about it uh, and, and uh, written about it. She is a real, you know, open advocate, you know, for women, um, you know, who suffer um, hostility in the military. So she'd written about it. She'd been quite open about it. Um, and this was one um, complaint she made. She said her commander was was actually uh, reassigned and um, uh, you know and, and taken out, off from his command uh, job. Now, uh, Secretary Wilkie, uh, it, to us on Friday, uh, as well as to other outlets who have covered this story, denied flatly denied um, through his spokesman um, that he had ever inquired about uh, Andrea Goldstein's past. Um, there are. Two other interesting elements here. Um, uh, the secretary did invite a, uh, a veteran, a former Navy SEAL named Dan Crenshaw, who was a freshman Republican uh, from Texas in the House, invited him uh, to his um, to his office at the um, at VA headquarters uh, last fall after Andrea made her complaint. Um, and our sources say that the reason for the invitation was that Crenshaw, it turns out, uh, deployed with Andrea um, uh, on a mission uh, to the Middle East in about, about 20, 2016. And we are told uh, by our sources that Wilkie uh, asked Crenshaw about Andrea and that, Wilk and that he uh, was told by the congressman, yes, that, you know, that she had had a past. She was a, a sec a, a, how do I put it? A, uh, a frequent uh, serial uh, sexual harassment and assault complainant. Wilkie and Crenshaw both denied that Andrea Goldstein's name came up, but they confirmed that they did uh, have a breakfast um, at VA headquarters. Um, so, Lisa, after the inspector general conducted a formal investigation into Goldstein's complaint, Wilkie issued a public letter to Congressman Takano. What was the purpose of that letter and what did it say? That's right. And just not to confuse your um, your readers, mm -hmm. the complaint we're talking about that the inspector general investigated was the one that uh, Andrea made after an incident at the D.C. Medical Center. This is when she has been, you know, this is recent. Last fall, she's on Takano staff. She's in the reserves, Navy reserves, but she is a civilian. So the inspector general did, um, he didn't release a report, but he called uh, VA and then, uh, and said, look, we're closing the case. 
released. We are not bringing charges, but we're closing the case. And uh, the in the watch, the inspector general, uh, Mike Missile, explicitly, because he said this publicly, so I can say this, he said he told Wilkie's uh, senior staff um, that this did not mean that the charges were not substantiated. It meant that they had closed the case without bringing charges. So what happened was Wilkie then fired off a letter to uh, Mark Ticano, uh, who is, by the way, chairman of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, and uh, said, well, uh, you know, we've just been told by the IG, uh, Andrea Goldstein's clay case is now closed. And he, uh, the secretary basically accused Takano and Andrea, her, his staffer, of making unsubstantiated claims. I, I, those are uh, my quotes um, from the letter um, against uh, against um, the VA. So that was quite incendiary, uh, raised a lot of concerns uh, in the veterans community um, for its language because it was pretty clear that the wording of that letter seemed to be saying that Goldstein was making it up and that, you know, he was blaming the victim. And so we talked to several VA officials who said that they did not um, really concur with the language of that letter. They felt that in an era, you know, when women veterans are coming forward, when it is, they are the fastest growing segment of the veterans population, um, that it was really not a good idea to, you know, say that a, a female veteran had made unsubstantiated claims. So there's just a war going back and forth between Secretary Wilkie and the Inspector General over, uh, you know, over whether Andrea Goldstein actually did, uh, subs whether her claim really was real or not. Certainly a case that's getting a lot of attention. We'll continue to follow <laughs> it. Lisa Ryan. Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me.